Expo. I am audible to all of you. Yes, Didi. Good morning, sister. Om Shanti. So today we are going to listen Baba's Avrata Moli. In this Moli, Baba especially emphasizing that how Trimurti loving souls will be, how fortunate souls will be. Like Baba said, how we should be in order to relationship for the father, teacher, and Sadhguru. So Baba said, as a relationship of father, we must follow Baba's footsteps. As teacher, we must be faithful and honest with the teacher. And as Sadhguru, Baba saying, we must obey every direction. And also very nicely Baba explained fortunate soul speciality. Baba said fortunate souls, they must know their specialities. But along with that, they use their specialities in yagya, in the godly service. And they are constantly corporate. Especially in today's morning, Baba emphasizing that we need to do because we all want to achieve elevated status. Especially Baba using what air condition ticket. So, so to get that air condition ticket or to have that ticket, we really need subtle checking. So now let's listen the Baba's Avatta Murli. Murli revised state it 21st June 1974. Murli's heading is in order to have a booking for an elevated status. Subtle checking is extremely essential. Today, Baba was seeing the speciality of all special and fortunate souls. Some do not even know their own speciality accurately. Some know their speciality but they do not use it in action. Whereas others know of their speciality, but they are not able to be stable in that speciality. They sometimes become special souls and sometimes ordinary souls. There are only a few only a handful out of the many souls of the Brahman family who know their speciality, maintain their speciality, and use that speciality. So here, Baba is saying that only a handful out of the many souls of the Brahman family who know their speciality, they maintain their speciality, and they use their speciality. That is, who constantly remain cooperative with the yajna by using their speciality. So here, Baba is making us to check ourselves that what kind of specialities am I having and Am I stable in that speciality? Am I using those specialities every time in the yajna, in the Baba's service? Or I get, I feel sometimes special, 
or sometimes ordinary what is my stage so bhave singh such a cooperative souls are deeply loved by pap dada so when we know the speciality when we maintain those speciality and when we use these specialities then definitely we get deep love of the pap dada such a souls are constantly simple yogis and easy natured yogis easy yogis and natural yogis see how beautifully baba is giving us method that how to become the easy and natural yogis for this just we need to we use our specialities constantly we feel ourselves as i am a special soul from their form you can very clearly see the intoxication and happiness of being a close child of the almighty authority that is from their forehead their eyes and their every action you constantly experience the signs of their being complete with all attainments their intellect is constantly engaged in their awareness of becoming the same as the father every footstep of such a souls is automatically in bab dada's footstep three main things were visible in such a souls what are they three main things were visible in such souls what are they the three murti loving souls who fulfill the responsibility of all three relationships will be complete in three aspects what would be their speciality in relationship with the father always doing as the father says means following the father's guidance so as a relationship with the father they always follow the father's guidance means they always follow the baba's footsteps what would be their relation their speciality in relationship with the teacher baba as my teacher what would be my responsibility what would be my speciality so faithful and honest in following his teachings very important faithful and honest in following his teachings means i am very faithful and honest that whatever baba is giving me teachings i am following that completely and i am so faithful and honest means i am fulfilling that thing as a relationship with the baba as teacher and in relationship with the sadguru they would be those who obey every direction these three specialities would be clearly visible in such a trimurti loving souls now check yourself as to what percentage you have in all three out of the time table of the whole day are you able to see the specialities of all three relationships you can know your result through this some are moving along while being specially loving to the father 
or especially loving to the teacher or the Sadhguru. But you have to become one who has love for the three forms, the three murti. There has to be a pass mark percentage in all three. If you pass with honor in one aspect and then claim low marks in the other two, then as a result, you will be not be able to become part of the group of close souls. Therefore, claim a good percentage in all. So we need to fulfill our responsibility an aspect of the relationship of father, teacher, and Sadhguru. Means Baba is saying that we should have good percentage in all three. Then only we can come, we can get chance to come close, come into the group of the close souls. Right? So since you are master almighty authorities, become an authority. In finishing your wasteful thoughts. So here Baba is reminding us that many times we say that I'm the master almighty authority. So Baba is saying we should be finish our wasteful thoughts. As we say, I'm the master almighty authority. Since you call yourselves the children of the almighty authority, can you not become an authority? In becoming victorious over your own sanskars, nature and thoughts. Only an authority who maintains law and order over everything can rule a kingdom with law and order. So see, very subtle thing, Baba emphasizing here that at the current time, in the present time, when we follow, when we maintain law and order, then only in the future, we can rule a kingdom with law and order. So it is based on present time. Before ruling the world, are you able to maintain law and order over yourself? I repeat, before ruling the world, are you able to maintain law and order over yourself? If the sanskars of observing law and order are not visible now, you will not be able to rule the world in the future. If the sanskars of observing law and order are not visible now, you will not be able to rule the world in the future. Only those who observe the law can become those who give the law. To be weak in following orders and it to have the hope of ruling is simply pleasing yourself. To be weak in following orders and it to have the hope of ruling is simply pleasing yourself. First of all, ask your own self. What we need to ask ourselves, are my thoughts under my law and order? Are my thoughts under my law and order? Second thing, is my nature under law and order? If these are lawless, can you claim a right to being master almighty authority? An almighty authority is never under the influence of anything outside. An almighty authority is never under the influence of anything outside. How you become like this? It is now the time for the effort. 
it is now the time for the effort makers to check themselves. If you are not able to check yourself at the time of checking, you will not be able to change your fortune. The more checking as a certain level you carry out on yourself, the higher the status you are booking for yourself in the future. I repeat, the more checking at a certain level you carry out on yourself, the higher the status you are booking for yourself in the future. To carry out the checking means to make a booking. Do you do this or Will you want to make a booking when all the bookings have been done? So how nicely Baba is asking us that we are doing our checking and booking our uh, tickets right now. Or will you want to make a booking when all the bookings have been done? Which is the most elevated booking? Which is the seat of the eight jewels? How you claim the air conditioned seat? There are conditions for the air conditioned seat. So to get air conditioned seat, I was emphasizing that we need to follow or to follow some kind of conditions. When we go through the some kind of conditions, then only we will get air conditioned ticket. That's it. In an air conditioned environment, you can condition the air to your requirements as and when you want. In the same way, if you are able to set yourself as when and where you want, then you can claim an air conditioned seat. So how beautifully Baba is explaining here, that in the air conditioned environment, be able to condition the air as our requirement, uh, whenever we want. So in the same way, Baba is saying that you are able to set yourself as when and where you want, then you can claim an air conditioned seat. How you accumulated all three treasures for this? which are all the treasures. All of you are clever in relating all the treasures. Just as you are clever in relating them, become just as clever in accumulating them. You need to have accumulated all the treasures. If even one is missing, you will not be able to claim an air conditioned seat. And then you can only come in the first division. So now check your booking. At present, you still have a chance. What will you be able to do when your chance is finished? So Baba reminding us that right now we are having chance to do the booking. Therefore, the main effort needed now is to check yourself at every moment, in every aspect, in every subject, and in the speciality of every relationship. I repeat, the main effort needed now is to check yourself at every moment, in every aspect, in every subset, and in the speciality of every relationship. As Baba emphasized, as a Baba means as a father, as a teacher, and as a Sadhguru. So here I would like to share my experience I always experience and I have this experience that as these three relationships, father, teacher, and Sadhguru, I experience this 
in this way. Uh, whenever I sit in the Baba's kutia, Baba's hut, I experience the relationship of the father. That I am having very lovely relationship with the father as a father. Uh, as we all know, in Baba's hut, Baba used to write later. So we should have that heart to heart conversation with the Baba. And I really experienced that love, Baba's love as a father. And I feel that relationship with the Baba as a father. Whenever I sit in the Baba room, Baba's hut, and in the Baba's room, I always experience that Baba is my teacher because from the beginning, that place where Baba used to meet his children personally and Saka Baba used to give teachings to children. So whenever in the subtle way I reach to Baba's room or in the physical way, I really experience relationship of the teacher. And I feel where Papa is giving me that power of knowledge, power of teachings. And when I go to the Tower of Peace, there I experience the relationship of Sadhguru. As we all know, that is the complete form of Brahma Baba, what we experience. That particular place is very powerful, very blissful. Whatever sankalpa thought we create there, Baba, make us to fulfill that thought. So I feel that as a form of Sadhguru, Baba always gives me a lot of blessings over there. So you can also have this experience as a father, as a teacher, as a Sadhguru. So Baba reminding us that we should be need to do checking at every moment, every aspect, every subject and the speciality of every relationship. So do you understand? Acha, to such a Trimurti loving souls, to souls who are Trikaldarshi, in terms of having knowledge of the self and of the world, to those who carry out their subtle shaking with their third eye, to the constantly cooperative souls who constantly remain close to Bhaptada, to the special souls who constantly observe law and order, Bhaptada's love, remembrance, good morning and namaste. So the spiritual children says to the spiritual father, to Bab Dada, good morning and namaste. Yes. So for a few seconds, we'll reflect on today's Murli.
of Shanti. Yes, now it's open for you all. You can share Kimurli's points, your takeaways for today. Yes, I can just close it. Om Shanti. While you were reading, Didi, about the air conditioner ticket, what I was getting was one is, yes, there are conditions where we can adjust the temperature of the air condition uh, compartment in a train when we enter a train. But to enter the air conditioner compartment, uh, what is required is also the, uh, the, the cost of the air conditioner ticket, is, air conditioner ticket is higher. So we relate this to what Baba is trying to put across with an, an analogy here is, uh, what is the condition that we in the spiritual world need to have to get into that elevated state is always been the embodiment of the values and virtues. And that's the investment that's required for us to get into that elevated stage. And uh, that's how I was able to, you know, I was relating to what Baba means when he says uh, the air conditioned ticket. Yes, very true. Baba saying you are so condition yourself in a such a way that according to time, according to relation, should we behave or create thoughts in that way. Yeah. Om Shanti, sister. Continuing to what the, the sister just shared, I was just thinking, you know, like in the young days, uh, when we were on a journey, because I belong to a middle class family, we have never thought about AC or first class tickets. We have only seen those uh, carriages passing by when we are waiting for our bogey to come. Never, never even we used to think, oh, will we be traveling? But we used to look at, look at it. Because we know there are conditions, there are this for it, and it, it never intoxicated because as long as we are traveling, we are traveling together. So that air condition, even though I'm not talking about how does an AC work and all, in that journey also, how did I choose? But now, Baba is saying, you needn't look and wait and pass through to wait for that class of yours. You are an AC ticket holder. Why? Because I have found you. After koto me koi, koi me koi, you are the one. So that is the first thing I've given. Hey, so okay, I can travel in an AC this. And even for an AC, you know, it's, if you see in a train, it's limited reservations. Yes. And uh, there is no RAC, you know, we wait for cancellation of the other thing, uh, reservation, but we know that in this seat, the AC seat, it's very limited people are there. You just cannot wait. Okay, wait, let me see who's falling down. Let me then go and join more. So even that thing over here, it's so limited. So, so important is this AC ticket more than in, in Baba's journey. I was just thinking how, why Baba speaks about air condition. Then I, as you were reading, I was telling Baba, Baba, but air condition isn't too good for health. Baba said, child, this is only for you till you reach me. I do, I, in air condition, you see no hawkers come, no peddlers come. You very limited people come to disturb you. Oh, so nice. Good yogi, good. No, the Ramraj will come. No, you can nicely travel. You can come and land in Paramta. So even that way, I was saying, why Baba is insisting how I can travel nicely? No, nothing, no disturbance in between. That is what was air conditioned. So 
Uh, I was just churning, sorry, just because uh, I always like to take Baba's Gyan with the what I'm there so that it becomes easier for me to understand the uh, concepts. And only three things he says, know your speciality, know the three relationships, be a master, almighty authority. Log on, your AC ticket is booked. Om Shant. Yes, very true. Nicely explained. So to travel in the air-conditioned coach, yes, Radha Maniji uh, wrote that first we need to book tickets. Yes, definitely. And that's what Baba explaining today is morely that uh, through the subtle shaking, we have that chance that we can book our air condition ticket and we can get that seat. Yeah. Anybody else who want to share the points or churning or take these points for today? Om Bhai. Om Shanti. I was just yes, listening to a wonderful uh, churnings, raise a, a wonderful murli. Definitely, uh, I was just uh, going through these three lines that Baba said that uh, the intoxication is clearly visible. The happiness of being a child of the Almighty Authority is clearly visible through the foreheads, eyes, and every action that we are constantly experiencing. The sign of being full of all attainments. And the attainments are uh, follow out, fall out of uh, the uh, relationships. Once we have the relationships, we automatically uh, experience the attainments. So that's the uh, takeaway. The Baba said uh, that uh, three relationships uh, makes us the Trimurti uh, loving souls. So the three relationships are the basis of foundation of uh, all attainments, uh, which he said, uh, the father, teacher, and Sadhguru. So thank you, Baba. Om Shanti. Very good. Thank you, Om Bhai. Anybody else? Mitrik Bhai, Chanda Club, and... Uh, Om Shanti. Uh, I was just uh, checking this point. Uh, Baba said that, you know, uh, Become almighty authority in finishing your waste thoughts. Uh, that's when we become the master almighty authorities. So the uh, so we have to become an authority where we finish, find, check, find, and then finish the wasteful thoughts. Yes, yes, Baba emphasized here that uh, uh, when at present time, when we uh, become the, means when we follow the law and order, means when we yeah. are able to rule ourselves, own self, then only uh, in the future we can rule the kingdom through the yeah. law and order. Yes, so here we have to, we rule our mind in our way, what we want in a positive way. That's what Baba said. Yeah, we have to finish our best full thoughts. Because as mm -hmm. Baba reminded that we call ourselves that I am the master almighty authority. Uh, yeah, Bijit Bhai? Uh, yeah, there also, in order to finish that, right, so we need subtle checking. So Baba is emphasized on subtle checking today. Yes. Yeah, thank you, Om Shant. Uh, when we we'll, uh, do the subtle checking here of the self, uh, then only in the future we can uh, get the elevated uh, status. That's what Baba explained today. Yeah, anybody else want to share the point? Just one more reflection, sister. Yes, Girija. Like, um, you know, I like all this three, 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 so many threes are there, creation, sustenance, destruction. And when he speaks about soul, happy mind, spiritual intellect, this will love. But the best thing I think, uh, even though there are so many relationships, Baba emphasizes on this three, Trimurti relationship. 
which he wants everyone to know. The father, the eternal parent, the teacher and Sadhguru. For me personally, if you ask me, the teacher and all, I remember, you know, like now as I'm reading the Murli or especially during the Sakar Murli, uh, that, that is the time, you know, because that's the time he's opening my intellect and putting all the teachings and all. Sadhguru, I don't know, but I know that something comes at the end, but it is father. I think that any other relationship, I think uh, whenever I used to, I've studied this uh, once in the Brahmakumaris of Australia. They had done a very good uh, research on these relationships. I have read each of these relationships and I found it's only like substituting those relationships in my journey whenever I've been deep. But the father is never like that. Father is, in fact, when I took my gyan, it was that relationship of the father which attracted me. And everywhere, param pita, param, param supreme, only that attracted me. So it is such a beautiful relationship. I used to work it. And in those days, I remember Surya Bhai and all used to say, it's like when you're going on a walk, that's the very nice of father. I like sit on his shoulders. So I feel I'm sitting on Bab Dada's shoulders and looking at the world. See, generally we sit only on father's shoulders, not on mother's shoulders. Maybe she's got a poor back. So uh, the shoulder sitting on and he reveals the world to me. What is that? He's showing me the new world. I, I don't know why that one relationship of father always, it, it always pulls me, pulls me, pulls me towards it. That's a beautiful relationship. Baba, my father, Mere Parampita. Oh, yes, very true. Uh, Satish Bhai has mentioned in chat box that we can become easy yogi, naturally yogi. Yes, that's true. Uh, today, uh, Baba emphasized on this, that when we know our specialities, as we all know, but we, Baba emphasized that we should be or maintain that speciality. And we should have to use those specialities in Baba's yoga, in the godly service. Then definitely we will become the easy yogi, natural yogi. Yeah. So still anyone want to share or should we move ahead? Om Shanti just would like to share one reflection that Baba said that he, uh, the specialities, every soul has uh, specialities, but then some yeah, know those specialities and then some, there are some who know their specialties, but uh, they are not able to use them. So yes. knowing and using them and the third is, uh, the third stage is that uh, it uh, is stable, uh, the soul is stable in those specialities. Baba expects us to be always special, be experience speciality and uh, use them and be stable and not that that sometimes we are special souls and sometimes ordinary souls. Ordinary souls. Baba doesn't like that. So yeah. even uh, there can be a subtle checking on this aspect that uh, sometimes we feel uh, some that we are ordinary soul even for a second also in an entire day that Baba, it's against the Baba's Srimad. So I think that's a good checking point we can do for that for the day or for every day. Om Shan. Yeah, true. Because many times uh, when we listen Murli or when we uh, do the yoga, that time we have that stage that we feel that I am a special soul. But uh, when we engrossed in the, our activities, day-to-day -day activities, then we forgot that I'm the special soul. Yeah. So today Baba reminding that every time, every moment we have to be feel that I'm a special soul. And along with that, we have to use those specialities. Yes. So according yeah, I'm to a special soul and I've got an air condition ticket booked. Booking. Yeah. It's an air condition ticket where I condition my own air, not depending on outside. Outside air may be anything polluted, but I filter it and condition it to the right temperature, right humidity, and then uh, in that I may maintain the uh, 
uh, inner powerful states and that too in a stable form. So these takeaways, but that will all happen through the subtle checking because the air conditioner also keeps subtly checking that uh, air, how much humidity is required more or less, and then temperature also if it needs to be varied according to the, uh, the stable temperature of 23 degrees centigrade to be maintained inside. And uh, whether all, all components of AC are working or not, whether it is being maintained for so the intellect, our thoughts, intellect, our attitude, awareness, all these are the components of the air conditioning. They ensure that we always are in air conditioned state. Om Shan. Yes, very true. Thank you, brother, for sharing. Yes, so, okay. While brother was sharing, one thought reflection that came was is Babatri really emphasizing on subtle checking as a means to have a booking. Uh, at an elevated stage. Subtle checking is also something which will allow us to maintain our stability every moment. Uh, what means? What I mean there is our stage uh, of uh, you know, being stable in whatever shows up in uh, the daily uh, work that we're doing will also come through only subtle checking. So the answer to you know, we uh, have the booking done in the elevated stage is subtle checking that allows us to be stable and that will lead us to move forward at an elevated level. That's one of the reflections that I was getting. Oh, yes, very nice document. Thank you. Okay, let's move ahead. Sit comfortably and alert. through the power of mind. Fly towards the sweet home, Madhuban. See yourself in front of Pandavan. Feel those vibes. Slowly and gradually. Move towards the Baba's hut. Baba's kutia. See yourself in Baba's kutia. And experience almighty authority as father. How lovely bond I'm having with Baba, my Baba. Experience fatherly love. This is the place where naturally my hearts get open. I feel very relaxed. It's lovely experience. with this beautiful, lovely experience. Move towards the Baba room. And see yourself 
that you are sitting in front of supreme teacher this is the most beautiful place where my sakai baba used to meet his children personally right now i am also experiencing at baba meeting me personally i am in front of teacher through his eyes he just pouring on me knowledge i'm experiencing my intellect just getting full with his supreme knowledge and teachings i am feeling powerful that god himself he's my teacher i'm so luckiest soul with this powerful experience move towards the most pure and powerful place on this planet i'm experiencing vibes and seeing baba as form of satguru who is just showering blessings on me reminding me sakar baba's complete stage so powerful blissful feeling i'm having over here and experiencing power blessings love this place is reminding me i am the one of the most precious instrument of baba who is constantly spreading whatever specialties i got from my baba i am the one who is using those specialities throughout the day and spreading it all over the world i am the lovely blissful luckiest soul 
special soul. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, Pradipa Ben. Thank you, Divine Family. We meet tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Have a wonderful day.